Hello everyone and welcome back. Deimos has done it. He has attacked Tower, the rainbow training facility in South Korea, in the new cinematic for Operation Heavy Metal. I'm not going to waste any of your time, I'm going to show you this cinematic and then we're going to talk about it after it is over. Keep those legs moving, Tanzaya. We need to improve our time to make the cut. They're to fly to rainbow, she said. It'll be fun, she said. Move! Vigil! Vigil, come in! No answer! The weapon's cast! We... Chop her down. And so there it is, that absolutely insane cinematic. I reacted to this live on stream and I honestly thought they killed Vigil. Now, something which did happen is many people were actually killed in this assault. It seems like they were training alongside Ram to be part of Rainbow. And it seems like Ram was really close with one of them who did end up falling to their death from the tower. Now, I will say, like when you see with anything in TV and forms of media, if you don't see a body, it doesn't confirm that the person is dead. So she could still be alive. Now, another major thing which happened in the cinematic is the fact that Deimos's helicopter got shot down. This seems to be one of the same helicopters we saw in the comic book for Operation Demon Vale when Azami, Jackal, Thatcher and Habana were attacked by the same helicopter. And this helicopter was successfully shot down by Ram. However, one, we don't know if Deimos was in it. He probably wasn't. This was probably just one of his soldiers slash henchmen. And two, like what I said with the other person who fell, we don't see any bodies come from this helicopter. So whoever is in it could still be alive. And if it is Deimos, he could once again still be alive. But this was an absolutely insane cinematic. Although Tower wasn't fully destroyed, it has been hit pretty hard. It's still standing, but could this set up for a Tower rework? I mean, the implications going forward are going to be very interesting. As well as this, Red Hammer and Ghost Eyes can't seem to catch a break. Ram is part of Red Hammer, and Vigil is part of Ghost Eyes. Both of those squads were the two squads hit in the Year 8 cinematic when Deimos first revealed himself as well. I guess Viper Strike did have their run-in with Deimos as well, so the only squad we're yet to see face off with Deimos is Wolfguard and as well as that Nighthaven but they aren't a rainbow squad. I honestly just could not wait to see where the lore is going to go. Now the test server does come out tomorrow so I will make an entire video about the new operator's backstory so be sure to stay tuned for that. As well as this I'm going to make a bunch of content about the new season. I didn't get early access so we are going to be a bit behind on that but I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. But wow just what an absolutely insane cinematic. I wonder like I was saying if this will lead to a tower rework. I mean it does open up the door to it. It opens up the door to changes and it has a lore explanation behind it. Not necessarily saying the other reworks have a lore explanation behind it but they could do that with this and it would be really interesting. And it just seems like Ubisoft are really focusing on the lore and it's something that makes me so happy. I'm glad we built a community which has helped embrace this lore since I know the team do put so much effort into it. The R6 lore team are such a wonderful group of people so the fact that us as a community are helping people understand the lore more and really get into it makes me so happy. My entire lore video just hit 6 100k views which is absolutely insane so yeah i'm sure so many of you probably got into the lore because of me and i'm thankful for that and i'm really interested to go on this journey with you and i'm just so excited that ubisoft are really putting all their effort into the lore and if you want to learn more about rainbow six lore this is the channel for you and i'm really interested to see what happens next so before we continue with this next bit i just want you to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what do you think is going to be the outcome of this cinematic i mean not only did he attack a rainbow facility he also attacked a city the tower is 
set in Seoul. Like, not only is this just some dark threat trying to take out Rainbow, he's putting civilian lives in danger. And this isn't just a small form attack. This is a massive form of basically terrorism. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube, but you get the word I'm going for. Like, I imagine in universe, this is going to be on news stories around the world, and Rainbow really do have their hands full. The stakes are definitely getting higher. Heck, I even thought Vigil died. And I wonder what Deimos' next plan is going to be. Now, I'm going to be posting other uploads where we break this down and we have some more theories, so be sure to subscribe for that. And I'm going to leave you with my live reaction to this, which we've done on stream, just so you can see my initial thoughts about it. So be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and enjoy. Tower! Tower! Okay. Keep those legs moving, Tanzaya. We need to improve our time to make the cut. Vigil. <gasps> Does Vigil just get shot? Vigil! Vigil, come in! No answer! The weapon's cast! We... Oh, she's dead. Holy... Okay, so tower's damaged. Fuck it, is Vigil dead? That, that, uh, I assume that was Ram's sister or her friend just got killed. Bro, is Vigil dead? Vigil. Oh, he's alive. Chop her down. Oh my god, Vigil's alive. I thought, I thought he was dead. I thought he was dead. So... Was that Deimos in the helicopter? Is he... It's not necessarily him. That was insane. Well, he, he, he hit the tower. 